A warm welcome, my dear students, in our health class. To formally start our discussion, first, let us identify the following. Content Standard Performance Standard And Most Essential Learning Competencies The topic for second quarter health 7 is all about nutrition. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss about the characteristics, signs, and symptoms of malnutrition. What is malnutrition? It is a condition in which an individual's nutrient is inadequate or unbalanced. There are two types of malnutrition, protein energy malnutrition and micronutrient deficiency. Protein energy malnutrition is a form of malnutrition where there is not enough protein calorie intakes. It could be undernutrition or overnutrition. Undernutrition is a condition wherein a person does not eat or take the daily nutrients and nutritional requirements. Overnutrition Obesity is a medical condition which a person has too much body fat, occurs when people eat more food than the body requires. Here are the signs and symptoms of malnutrition. Lack of appetite or interest in food, difficulty breathing, tiredness and irritability and heart failure, an inability to concentrate, always feeling cold, a lack of growth and low body weight, depression, Loss of fat, muscle mass, and body. Tiredness and a lack of energy tissue. Irritability and anxiety. Higher risk of getting sick. Slow behavioral and intellectual. Longer healing time for wounds, learning difficulties, and higher risk of complications after surgery. For the prevention and controlling of malnutrition, food-based strategies, and public health approaches. Food-based strategies are fortification, complementary dietary approaches, and dietary supplement. Fortification is the process of adding vitamins and minerals to regularly consumed food. Complementary dietary approaches are sustainable methods which involves tackling social, environmental, and cultural aspects. Promotion of breastfeeding and adequate complementary feeding is essential. Dietary supplements is a product that contains vitamins and minerals intended to add nutritional values to the diet.
These are some public health approaches. Education, disease control, socio-economic, and environmental aspects. Macronutrient deficiency is the lack or shortage in the recommended amount or intake of vitamins and minerals. These are some nutrients that are being lacked that causes micronutrient deficiency. Vitamin A, Vitamin B6, Vitamin B12, Vitamin E, Vitamin C, Folate, iron, calcium, and zinc. Vitamin A helps the body use carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Signs and symptoms of micronutrient deficiency from vitamin A. Anemia, painful joints, cracks in teeth, depression, frequent infections. Vitamin B, it helps make red blood cells. Signs and symptoms for micronutrient deficiency that is lacked in vitamin B are anemia, depression, convulsion, and skin rashes. The next one is the vitamin B12. It helps maintain nerve cells. Signs and symptoms of micronutrient deficiency that is lacked in vitamin B12. Anemia, nervous system degeneration, progressing to paralysis and hypersensitivity. Vitamin E is the antioxidant needed for stabilization of cell membranes. Signs and symptoms of micronutrient deficiency that is lacked in vitamin E are red blood cell breakage, anemia, muscle degenerations, difficulty walking, leg cramps. Another vitamin is the vitamin C that aids in maintenance of red blood cells, bone, teeth, inflammation, and resistance to infections. Signs and symptoms of micronutrient deficiency that is lacked in vitamin C are anemia, frequent infections, bleeding gum, loosened teeth, muscle degeneration, and pain, joint pain, blouchy bruises, failure of wounds to heal. Folate aids in formation of red blood cells and protein. Signs and symptoms of micronutrient deficiency that is lacked in folate are anemia, heartburn, frequent infections, smooth red tongue, depression, and mental confusion. Iron helps in energy metabolism important for transporting oxygen in the bloodstream and prevention of anemia. Signs and symptoms of micronutrient deficiency that is lacked in iron are anemia, weakness, fatigue, pale appearance, reduced attention span, developmental delays in children. Calcium helps build and maintain bones and teeth Nerve and muscle function and blood clotting helps carry out body processes. For the signs and symptoms of micronutrient deficiency that is lacking calcium are stunted growth for children and for the adult bone loss, also called as osteoporosis. The last one is zinc. It plays a role in immune function, protein synthesis, and wound healing.
Signs and symptoms of micronutrient deficiency that is lack in zinc are growth failure, delayed sexual maturation, slow wound healing. For the next slides are the prevention and controlling of micronutrient deficiency. Vitamin A deficiency. It causes night blindness or xeropthalmia and later on permanent blindness. For the prevention of vitamin A deficiency, you need regular consumptions of vitamin A rich foods such as animal products, orange and yellow fruits, and dark green leafy vegetables. Iron deficiency anemia is a condition in red blood cell count or hemoglobin is less than normal. Anemia results in retarded physical growth, low resistance to infections, and slow developmental learning abilities. For the prevention, you need foods such as dark green leafy vegetables, legumes, red meats, rich in iron, and iron petrified food. Iron deficiency disorders is the result from lack of iodine in the diet. Iodine is needed for the production of thyroid hormone. To prevent iodine deficiency disorder, you need to take iodine-rich food like iodized table salt, cheese, saltwater fish, cow's milk, seaweed, egg, shellfish, soy milk, and soy sauce. For the activity entitled O Commercial, think or recall of a too famous product advertisement about micronutrient deficiency. Then list down the signs, symptoms, and ways to prevent that deficiency. Here are the references that I have used in doing my presentation. Photos used here are from Canva. I hope you learned a lot about characteristics, signs and symptoms of malnutrition. This has been your teacher, Mrs. Cynthia Salidad S. Aspe, leaving you a message that you will feel good if your body is functioning properly. So eat well, feel good. Have a nice day, Grade 7!